1978 GMC motorhome and you have the city shore water connector here. Let's just say that yours leaks for whatever reason and before you can find a new one that looks like the original one, you, you know, you want to be able to hook up water temporarily. So I'm going to show you how to temporarily replace this connector, which is also a pressure reducing valve until you can find your new original connector, which you'd probably have to go online to find it. But before you go to all this trouble to replace this, because there's four screws here, and then there's some other screws connecting it to the green pressure reducing part of it. Before you go to all this trouble, you see that little black washer inside there, inside your, your garden hose connector? You can't see it here. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can get a better picture of it. See it right in there? See the black, uh, the right inside, right in the middle there, right? You can see there's a black washer. Make sure you, make sure that washer is a new, new good washer before you go to all this trouble. So as you can see, after we've tore apart, the, uh, the shore city water connector is also a pressure reducing valve, reducing the water pressure coming from the city water to your rig to make sure you don't have any of the leaks. So this is a uh, part of it. This is the end part of it. Let me show you where this came from. This part is in the back of that green part. See the green part there? That was on the back. And when you take the when you take the little screws out, I think there's maybe five or six of them in the middle. See the, the white part there has a screen on it. The white part has four screws. And see the white part? This is your city water connector. Also, you see it has a screen there that can catch any contaminants. There's the screen right there. So now you're going to want to replace this with the original type of valve. Okay, so this is the pressure reducing part of the back, the back of it. It reduces the pressure. So you got your connector all tore apart, and you're waiting for the new one to arrive, but you want to go ahead and temporarily be able to get water to your rig. So that's what I'm going to show you here, how to temporarily get the water to your rig while you're waiting for the new uh connector valve screen. So as you can see, this uh, connector is more than just a connector. It's a screen and it's also a pressure reducing valve. So maybe this video will be uh, useful for you just to know what the valve and the connector looks like. Now if you're going to replace this temporarily, you're going to need a fil make sure you need a, you need a filter. That in the box to the left is a filter and you're going to need three parts that look like this. They don't have to be brass, they could be plastic. But you're going to need some half inch connectors. Like this part here, the elbow is a half inch male. The connector there, that's half inch. And of course, you've got the garden hose connector. And of course, then you're going to need the uh, filter. And you're also going to need a pressure reducing valve. I don't, I don't, I don't have that in the picture right now. But you're definitely going to need a pressure reducing valve, the filter, and these three connectors here. Again, they can be plastic. Uh, use your Teflon tape. Put them all together. And I'm going to show you how this you can temporarily get water to your rig. And you might think that putting all these connectors together before you go out there to the rig might be a good idea, but it's not. Like uh, I tried that. So here I am, I'm putting all the connectors together. And um, what the problem is when you get out to your rig, uh, you, you got that little black box. You don't have enough room to turn everything and tighten it. So you have to put all the pieces together one at a time out at your rig. So you see here, here's what it looks like. So I will show you what it looks like before we go out there. But you cannot you cannot put it all together first. You have to wait till you go out there. Just, just trust me on that one. And here we are outside the rig and this is the black box where the water hose is. And like I said, if you put all, all the connectors together, you don't have enough room to turn it here. I'll kind of get a better picture. You see you're, you get a black box there and you got it all together and you try to turn it and tighten it, it won't. You won't be able to do it. So you, 
you have to put it all together individually. But here's, I'm going to show you the three, three pieces. They tie into your water hose just like that. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. So that's your, this is your temporary uh, water hose connector. Now remember, when you replace the original connector, you, you're also eliminating the screen and the pressure reducing valve. So it's very important to have that on there. What I mean is you have to make sure that you your screen, your screen will be a water filter. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. But uh, again, that green part we took out was the pressure reducing part of the connector. So coming up here in a moment, I'm going to show you that you're going to have to go buy a pressure reducing valve. Here it is right here. So you can buy these at uh, Home Depot or wherever. And that reduces the pressure coming into your rig. You don't have to turn the water hose on full blast either. You can just basically, you know, a couple turns, crack it. And you don't have to have uh, full water pressure coming in. But this is very important. Put your uh, pressure reducing valve on there. And here's your filter. And then this works as a temporary fix. You got water coming in until you can find the original valve. Or it's not, uh, it's a connector. The connector which will come with a spring and a pressure reducing uh, valve. I guess you'll have to go online to find it. Well, good luck. I hope this helps.